the 33rd and final part of a look at my comedy DVDs. Ahoy hoy everybody and yes welcome to the 33rd and final part of my look at my comedy DVDs. We finally made it. Um, stand up, sketch show, sitcoms, something I'm not quite sure how you'd describe, possibly films, possibly documentaries, don't think so. Um, let's carry straight on. So one of, I'm not sure what, how you would classify it, is Wallace and Gromit, the three original animated shorts, Grand Day Out, Wrong Trousers and a Close Shave, just masterful stuff. Uh, I do have the films as well, which I've already shown. This also contains The Amazing World of Wallace and Gromit, which is sort of a documentary about how it's how they came to be. They just have had a Blu-ray release. I might pick them up one day. I'm in no rush. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, excellent stuff. This is Robert Newman's stand-up release from Caliban to the Taliban um, four or five parts ago I showed his History of Oil release which contained this as a bonus disc um, obviously I already owned this when that came out so I do have this already but this is basically how the West's stand-up but it's political stand-up he does nowadays um, I talked about it more on previous on that previous video but it's basically how the west are basically the reason why the taliban exists um and the history that led to 9-11 and all that sort of stuff but yeah um very interesting but very funny as well this is one of the bbc the best of dvd releases that they did for a while and this is the best of ronnie barker so this contains Sketches from the two Ronnies, excerpts from Porridge, Open All Hours, Clarence, Magnificent Evans. Um, lots of very funny stuff. Everything that is on here I now have the complete series of on DVD. But yeah, very good. This is Paul and Pauline Calves at Cheese and Ham Sandwich, which was a live show got a feeling it was recorded for the BBC but I might be misremembering but yeah it's basically a live show from Liverpool of Steve Coogan in character as Paul and Pauline uh, and a couple of other new characters as well oh, it was a long time since I've seen it so I can't exactly remember um, it's also got their Saturday Zoo appearances and the making of yeah lots of very good stuff this is complete first series of titty bang bang i showed the second series on a much earlier video um a in my opinion underrated sketch show it's on bbc3 female or female cast or female led cast anyway including you know the actresses playing men in some sketches and what have you produced by Bob Mortimer and and co-written by him yeah lots of really funny stuff I'm a big fan of Lucy Montgomery yeah as I say I think it's 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 quite often cited as an example of a bad sketch show but I really don't think it is uh, so this is series one part one of Am I the pub, pub Landlord in Time Gentlemen Please? After this was released, we got box set releases of the whole thing, which I've already shown. So this is largely an irrelevant release nowadays. But it's great stuff. Tim Vine Live, so I said to this bloke, I think this was his second live DVD, I might be misremembering. But yeah, as I've said before, huge fan of Tim. He's a genius, extremely funny and all his stand-up releases are well worth getting this is the one i did 
allude to this on the earlier one. This is the one where one of the extras is his dad telling a joke. Um, but loads of extras on here as well, including commentary, I think. It's not mentioned, but I think it does. Uh, this is the Ruttles. All you need is cash. So on an earlier video, I showed um, the second Ruttles, whose name I've forgotten now, and I can't see. Um, can't buy me lunch. Have I made that up? If I have, it's a great pun, but I don't think I have. Uh, Yeah, can't buy me lunch. Um, but this was the original mid-70s, 78 release. So the Ruttles came to life in an episode of Rutland Weekend Television, which was the show that Eric Idle did after Python set in, at, in a fictional TV station in Rutland, which is the smallest British county, I think, um, which then was subsumed into a different county but is now its own county again but anyway um and the ruttles were basically an alternative beatles and they were proved very popular they did a saturday night live appearance and on the back of that a one-off tv film i think it's a tv film was commissioned um and it's basically a, a parallel to the story of the beatles but through the ruttles and it's really good, really funny. Um, George Harrison appears in it, but not as George Harrison. Uh, yeah, just really very funny. He's got commentary from Eric Idle on here and various other bits as well. Uh, so I've shown in a couple of previous parts chunks of Ross Noble DVDs. Here's the last few. Um, so this is Noblism, and this contains. Uh, this is the fifth DVD he released. This contains his show at the Empire Theatre Liverpool, which was the first ever stand-up show to be broadcast throughout the country live in cinemas. Uh, this is your chance to own a record of a unique live experience along with a bonus disc full of hours of extras. Uh, got the audio commentary that he did on most of his early DVDs. The first episode of his Australian trip, which was then subsequently the whole thing had its own DVD release, which I showed in the last part. Uh, bonus show footage, various other things. This is one of the ones that comes in this sort of case with a normal MRA. Or slightly thicker than a normal MRA, to be fair. Two disc set. Oh, this has got the nice fold out bookie poster y thing. This is Fizzy Logic. Really nice cover to this one. Uh, this is fourth DVD, so it's got a two-hour, ten-minute full-length show plus a twenty-minute encore, recorded in Canberra with commentary and the intro film and a little Ross Noble in New Zealand travelogue thing, and then six shows from a UK tour for sort of, it's three hours, so roughly thirty minutes from each one. Plus another 30 minute bonus show, the official bootleg show from South End. Uh, but only for those who can work out where all the others were filmed. Yeah, so you had to guess where they were filmed. You know, sort of an interactive game thing and then you could unlock it. I think I did do it eventually, but it wasn't immediately obvious. But yeah, I like the discs on this one. And booklet and all sorts inso inside. <clears throat> Still one more Ross to come, I think. Uh, but here's another Tim Vine. This was his first DVD release, Tim Vine Live. An incredible 377 jokes on a DVD. Uh, commentary on it. Rare live footage from his vault. Uh, one month documentary on him. Short film. And various other bits. Excellent, excellent stuff. So dotted about the previous videos, I've shown series 8 to 12, I think it is, of Spitting Image, which is the ITV puppet satirical show from, going the wrong way, from the 80s and 90s. Uh,
This is the box set of series one to seven. First couple of series were good but not great. Then there is three or four great series and then it went downhill. But as I've said in previous parts, part of the problem is that it's very reliant on being aware of what was going on at the time, which for the bigger things, you know, is fine. But then it's small incidents that happened the week these were made and shown. But, you know, were uh, literally, you know, today's headlines is tomorrow's chip paper wrapping type stuff that nobody would remember, possibly not even the people involved. Um, obviously that you lose the impact on those and particularly in the later series there's just some stuff that's just not funny but by and large particularly this box set good stuff this is a magnificent an audience with victoria wood probably the highlight of her career certainly for me um so this is part of the itv audience with series of shows where Comedians, musicians, people of that ilk, um, raconteurs would put on a show in front of an audience made up of other famous people. And sometimes they'd do Q&As, depending on who they were, would be exactly what they did. And this was Victoria Woods' one. And there's a couple of Q&A bits, which are just prompts, basically, for bits of stand-up. And some of her wonderful songs, including the magnificent ballad of Frida and uh, Barry. I forgot for a minute what it was called, aka Let's Do It. Um, but yeah, this is faultless comedy. Uh, how long is it? 50 something minutes, probably. 51 minutes, and literally 51 magnificent minutes. This is World of Pub. So this was a sitcom that started on Radio 4 and had one series on telly. Uh, so Gary and Barry are brothers. Gary is played by Peter Serafinovich and Barry by um, Phil Cornwall. And they have a regular called Dodgy Phil played by Kevin Eldon. And ba Gary and Barry run a pub and it's just sort of the story of their pub and what Dodgy Phil gets up to and the other people who come in. Um, when I watched this on telly, I absolutely loved it. I was thrilled when it got a DVD release. Didn't enjoy it as much on DVD. Don't know whether I just wasn't in the right mood for it when I watched it. That can be a problem sometimes. Where I, in order to make sure that I do watch everything that I buy, because otherwise I can I'll just pick and choose, um, I religiously watch things in the order that I buy them. So it's sometimes, you know, I'm watching a comedy when I'm not really in the mood for a comedy or I'm watching a particular type of film when I'm not in the mood for that particular type of film, which therefore sometimes means I don't enjoy them as much as I should have. So that might have been the case with this. Um, I still enjoyed it, but I, it wasn't as good as I remembered it being. As I say, that might have been because I wasn't in the right mood for it. Uh, so the last Ross Noble DVD is Mind Blender. Great cover on that one. Uh, this was his ninth release, celebrating 21 years in stand-up. So it's got a Brisbane show, a London show, an interview, loads of tour highlights. Another nice booklet. Just more excellent stuff. Nearly there. Two more releases. So the penultimate one is Wooden Waters. So this was the sketch show she did. She did. They did. Before an, um, Victoria Wood has seen on TV. This was for ITV. And it is very similar in a way. Um, sketches, songs, stand-up-y bits. You know, Julie Walters, although she wasn't credited in the title of a scene on TV, was a huge part of that show. She's more of a part, you know, basically every sketch 
more or less features both of them or Victoria's written it and Julie's performing it so she's she's in more but it's yeah it's very much in the vein of a scene on TV and very strong stuff as well and then the last one is Stuart Francis live so I became a big fan of Stuart watching him on Mock the Week um, you know I really like one-liner comedians and you know you got Stuart you got Tim Vine you've got Milton Jones you've got Gary Delaney and they all do them there's others but those are the four sort of biggies if you like and they all do them and they've all got their own slightly different way they do them and style of material they do um Gary Delaney's quite rude Tim Vine is completely non-rude um Milton Jones is quite surreal Stuart Francis is Stuart Francis is a bit more attacking, if you like, in his humour, um, but also self-deferential as well. Um, but yeah, really funny stuff. Enjoy it a lot. Got outtakes and an unseen Q&A on here. So that is it. So I have some comedy DVDs and Blu-rays in my to watch pile. From now on, they will just be in my monthly, well, not necessarily monthly, but my regular DVD and Blu-ray updates um, but that is my comedy DVD collection that I have watched to date there were some comedy Blu-rays that I showed when I showed my Blu-rays so everything has been shown so if you haven't seen it I haven't got it unless it's in my to watch pile um, I promised towards the start of these a competition when I got to the end of them keep watching a competition is coming uh, I'll be giving away a, a watch basically of comedy dvds um so yeah so keep watching for that if you're interested it will be it won't be a make a video competition it will be a quiz basically and everybody you get either whoever gets the most right or however many people get the most right will be entered into a draw to win anyway more about that when you see the video as for as for my collection basically i've just got two little bits left well one little bit and one bigger bit left to do um the next video will be my joss whedon tv show dvds that i own so buffy angel firefly that's probably it um so that'll be one video i should imagine then it's my doctor who dvds or doctor who and spin-offs dvds which i have basically everything up to when they move to blu-ray um so that will be quite long but i won't be talking much about them that'll probably be three four parts would be my guess and then we'll be done completely apart from the updates anyway thank you for watching stay tuned uh like comment subscribe and i'll see you in another video thanks bye <music>